Jimmy Dreams coming to you. Hey, I'm here at the house. Been here for a few days. Been a little bit under the weather and had a few um, problems at the things that happened to me. And, you know, I was thinking uh, of the goodness of God. Uh, we had uh, woke up the other morning and had a tree limb, a, a big, huge tree limb fell on our carport. And then my truck had quit running and was have, we were having problems trying to figure out what's wrong with it and getting it fixed. And then I had some medical problems and all those things seemed to come at me in a, in a whirlwind. But I'm gonna tell you something. When the enemy comes against you, the Bible says, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Now, that we read that scripture a different way. We read it, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. But I believe it should be emphasis like this. When the enemy comes in against you, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. And you see, uh, that's, that's basically what I've had to lean on the last few days. Um, I realize that uh, my truck, like my body, is getting older and things happen to it. And I realize that things happen around the house. But when a storm comes all at once, then what you have to do is you have to hold on to what you know is true. And the only thing I know that is true and is always true no matter what anybody else says is God's word. And God said that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And I'll be with you. I'll take care of you. I'll provide for you. He's made these promises. And over 70 years I have depended on these promises. Now, I haven't always been perfect. God knows I haven't been perfect. And some of you know I haven't been perfect. But I want to tell you something. Uh, I'm not looking at the natural body. I'm looking at the spirit man. You and I are both spirit beings. We're all spirit beings. We live in this body, this body of flesh, this, uh, this earthly temple, you might say. We live inside of it. And it, to a certain extent, it, 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 it holds us captive and our our spirit man uh, wants to soar but yet we're held back by the flesh and this body of as uh, as Dottie Rambo wrote this house of flesh is a prison and bars of bone hold our souls but I'm gonna tell you something you can rise above your circumstances God takes you where no one else can take you. He can take you to spiritual heights and places where that man cannot go on his own. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I know that things happen to people, but I also know that God is bigger than things and bigger than circumstances. When, when the enemy comes in against you, I want you to realize God is already in the process of bringing you to a place of safety. You don't have to let the storms batter you. The storms can come. I couldn't control the storms coming. They, they came into my life and they, they, they made me have different problems. But nevertheless, throughout all of them, throughout all the problems, I still can tell you God is faithful to his word. I was a young boy in the hospital for 37 days. I was five years old. Uh, the doctor had walked in and he sat down beside me and he told me, he said, you uh, will never walk again. And I turned my face to the Lord and I said, Lord, if you'll heal me, I'll preach the gospel. And I haven't always been faithful to, to God, but he's always been faithful to me. I've always kept his word in my heart. Even when times get rough, I know that God is in my heart. God's word is in my heart. And I remember one time and specifically, uh, this was in the 50s. And uh, I was getting ready to go home from the hospital. And all the nurses, and it was a small hospital, a small town, and all the nurses and all the 
technicians and all the people that were uh, had come in to tell me bye and it was a crowd of oh probably 15 or 20 people and along with them came some of the maids and some of the cooks and they were black and in those days they sort of stayed they would stay back to themselves and not really come forward and I was given different ones of nurses hugs and and there was a uh, one of the 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 cooks there that always come in to see me and brought me my food and I said are you not gonna give me a hug and she broke down in tears and she said I didn't know whether you wanted to hug me or not you see God doesn't know color color doesn't matter with God nothing matters to God but your soul your spirit man is the part of you that is like God the rest of it he he allows you to work your way through but somewhere you have to quit being judgmental and criticizing others for who they are and what they're like you see some 50 years later now actually some 65 years later my wife was black and we've been married for th over 30 years and I, 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 I always think back to that, that simple time that simple place where that skin color never made a difference to me it was the character in people's heart it was their caring it was their love that they showed to me it was the person who counted and not the skin color. We need to lay aside our prejudices. We need to lay aside those evil things that corrupt the flesh. And we need to trust God. I just, I wanted to share that. It's not been something I've shared with hardly ever. But I want you to know I feel the same way today, no matter who you are, no matter what color you are, no matter what language you speak. God loves you. God cares for you. He wants you to have the best. I love you. I care for you. Every day I send out these videos all I need to reach is one person. If I can change one person's life for the day, then I've done my job. I want y'all you all to pray for me today. It's been a difficult time, difficult week. I'm working my way through it. I keep my eyes on God. I trust in the Lord. I know he'll bring me the answer. He'll provide everything that I need. He's my God, but he's your God too. And so I sign off today by saying, God bless you, Jimmy Dreams, keep on keeping on.